Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Snakes on the Plane. Today we're going to be looking at my newest pickup, Nerodia Cipidon. Um, this is also called the Northern Water Snake. Um, so I just want to show you guys first the two that I have, which actually were uh, bred by the same gentleman I got this newest one from, although I think these ones are a little younger. So I just actually moved this, this is my male, I just moved him into here. This is going to be his new uh, new permanent enclosure. He was in a six court for a while. Uh, they've been doing fantastic, so wanted to move them over to a bigger cage. Let's see if I can find him though, they do like to bury themselves. There he is. Which is why I love this Repta chip. it gives them something to be able to bury in. And these guys are fast. Oh, it's okay. There we go. So this is a little northern water snake. Um, these guys live here in Nebraska. They're one of my favorite species. And um, this guy actually comes from a lineage that's very red. He has a striped ventral pattern. So his belly has a stripe going down it. Um, which is one of the things I really like about him. It's hard to find that kind of a uh, look in the wild. And then um, they also are really fun to feed. I'm going to try to not let him get up my arm. There we go. Um, because, of course, these guys are snake eaters. So they're very active, as you can tell. They will actually um, ruminate if, if given the chance. Uh, I haven't actually done that. Although I do notice differences in activity um, from just a couple weeks ago when it was winter to now. Um, but I give them a large water bowl. I'll feed them fish, live fish, a couple times a week um, along with fish fillets. I, I'm trying to get them on rodents, um, but they're not into it now. Of course, he's still young, so he has plenty of time uh, to decide if he wants to get into rodents or not. And then, of course, just some thick uh, repti chip. <laughs> they are just insane little guys. They really do calm down once you get them out for a while. Um, this is this guy empty without food in his belly. Uh, they do get, they do look a lot bigger when they do have food in their belly. Um, but he actually was in shed and didn't eat for me this week. He just shed out, so hopefully we'll be getting him um, uh, on some more food here soon. But these guys again will eat live fish. They'll catch it themselves, or you can feed them with tongs. They'll eat fish fillets, same thing. You can feed them with tongs or set it on a plate overnight. So, um, really enjoying working with these guys. I just wanted to show you the the male, and then we'll go to my female that I have, and then we'll move on to uh, to uh, the new one I just got as well. Alrighty, and here is my female. Um, she actually crawled right in the water herself, which is just adorable. Uh, you can just tell these guys really do love their water here. But um, uh, her water bowl and the other water bowl I'm about to show you may look just a little dirty. I actually just grabbed them out of the dishwasher and I probably should have soaked them in some vinegar beforehand. But I don't have any and the pandemic's still going on so I didn't end up going out and getting any. But yeah, these guys are just so much fun. Um, she is going to just be looking a little bit bigger than the male and that's because she's full of food. And totally out of focus <laughs> and also um, that uh, she does she does eat better than he does I will say that but she's making herself at home right there in uh, this nice uh, room temperature water that's been sitting out for a while um, since these guys are from Nebraska the nice thing is basically you know whatever whatever the temperature is outside is gonna be their temperature um, if, but I don't want them to go down for winter so I do keep them in a warmer a warmer setup here. Not too warm though. A nice little setup just in the rack for now until they get a little older and then they will have a very very large cage. But I will be actually uh, putting the trio of them together uh, because they do well in um, oh what is it called? Not groups, in like families basically. Uh, just like garter snakes, these guys do really well. They're good at sharing food. They're good at sharing resources. And if you have multiple hot spots, multiple cold spots, and a large water uh, source for them, they'll totally be fine. Um, I've seen it done before, so it's definitely not something new that I'm pioneering here. But she's gorgeous. Um, she has more of a, the reddish color to her, if she lets me get her. You're okay. She's normally really chill. She has more of the uh, 
Ooh, reddish color there. I'm trying to get it to focus, but they're so small the camera doesn't want to um, autofocus. But um, <laughs> she does not have the stripe ventral, uh, the stripe on her belly. And um, so I'm kind of getting the best of, of uh, one or the other with this. And hopefully with this female, the new female I just got, haven't checked yet, but hopefully she has a stripe vent uh, as well. But if not, that's okay. I'm just really happy because the next female I'm going to show you, the new girl, is a lot prettier. Alright, so we got her cage already right here. Uh, let's just talk about quarantine procedures really quickly. So, of course, I'm sure you noticed that all three of these cages are the same, which means, of course, they come from the same rack, and that would be my quarantine rack. It's very important to quarantine animals when you get them, and um, obviously my other water snakes, they had already passed quarantine, but... Um, since I'm putting a new snake in with them, I'm going to have to restart their quarantine. So these guys will be in quarantine again for 90 days. And I feel comfortable enough after checking out this snake uh, briefly and after um, checking with uh, multiple sources about the breeder and also um, just general, my general knowledge, I feel comfortable putting those animals back into quarantine for 90 days. Um, there shouldn't be any issues, but... Uh, um, we'll keep an eye on them anyways, uh, and again, sorry about the water bowl. Um, this literally just came out of the dishwasher. Um, I just need to soak it because this stuff does really stain the inside of those water bowls when it gets in there. But uh, let's move on and take a look at unboxing her. Okay, so here we go. Um, I, like I said, I already opened this up and checked her out because I was actually working at the time, working from home, and I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't uh, dead on arrival. Of course she wasn't, but better to be safe than sorry. And she did pee, but that's okay. You can already see just how much bigger she is. Oh, she looks great. Let's get her out of there. Hopefully she'll just be chill, because these guys are explosive. Hello there. You can just see how much more red she is. And I should note that as these guys age, they get better and better color-wise. Um, as babies, of course, they want to be kind of drab colors, because you don't want to be really, really colorful. And, uh, oh, sorry about that. That's my motion sensor. Um, you don't want to be really colorful and attract a lot of predators. But yeah, she is wonderful. Look at those reds on the side of her body right there. That black head. There you go, girl. I'm going to try to take this out of here. It's a, just her soiled bedding. There we go. Yeah, I know you didn't like that too much, did you? So these guys actually have keeled scales. That's why their scales almost look rough and sharpish. And that's because they actually are in the middle. They crimp up and it gives them a very rough feel. And she is beautiful though, isn't she guys? So she'll be eating a lot more fish, a lot better um, as well because she's a a bit more of a, um, she's been eating for longer, so she knows how to do it. As weird as that sounds, that is something that, you know, your animals need to learn. But, yeah, I'm just so stoked and so happy to have her. Um, I got her from uh, Matthew Dove. So if anyone's looking for any of these beautiful guys, you can definitely check that out. Um, looks like she's already going to try and hide here and get away from, from me and from the light and just probably take it easy for the next couple days with her but um, definitely an awesome animal, super unique. I mean, something you can go out and find in the wild, but um, I don't know, not, not really something this red and not really something, uh, <laughs> you can see the bedding moving, and not really something um, as gorgeous and beautiful as, as she is. So I'm really lucky and really happy to have her uh, in my collection now, and I'm sure she'll be just a thrill to work with. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've been um, 
really trying to make some more content here for you guys, especially since, uh, you know, hatching season's going on right now. And uh, I have a lot of ovulations, and I'm waiting on actually three clutches to drop as we speak right now. So my season is booming, guys. Um, there will be plenty uh, that you will be hearing and seeing from me and some really, really cool stuff. Puzzles, Xanthix, Hurricanes, uh, GHI Hurricanes. Pides, double hets, and all the, all the like. I mean, it's going to be a crazy season here, guys. So um, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, please.